Kelly Ortberg there. Greg Waldron is Asia Managing Director of Flight Global. He joins me live now for more on this. Greg, this labour dispute is getting seriously expensive for Boeing. What does this latest setback mean for Boeing's finances, for production timelines and for operations as well? Just lay it out for us. Well, it means basically they're still frozen, at least around the Seattle area. The 737 production is stalled. Um, 777 and certification appear, will still remain stalled. So really, it's just a continuation of the difficult situation they've been in with the union for six weeks. Um, it is notable that, you know, the first uh, time the union rejected the offer, I think it was like 98 percent rejected. At this time, it was only 64 percent. But it still shows that there's some way to go. And while this drags on, Boeing will continue to hemorrhage cash and they will not be producing airplanes in Seattle. Indeed. So how critical is this relationship with the machinist union for Boeing's recovery and what should we expect to happen next year? Well, it's certainly essential to, that the, uh, they get the union on side because, you know, Kelly's remarks around the earnings are like, look, we really need to go back to basics. We really need to go back to quality. We really need to, you know, get our house in order first. But the first thing we need to do is sort out this union thing. And of course, there was the hope that you know, the union would vote yes, and then they would continue. But even once the union finally does come around, then they have to come around. Otherwise, there's no Boeing if the union doesn't come around. Once the union does come around, even then it'll take them weeks to ramp up production again. So it's going to be a long road before they really start to get things back on track. And of course, the starting point for that is not today, but when they get the union back on side. Indeed. So what's the primary issue here for the union? What don't they like about a double digit pay increase? Well, the problem is for years they've been making concessions to Boeing. You know, they felt like there's been they've, they've been surrendered on the pension thing. Um, the fact that Boeing moved production of the 787 to uh, non-union South Carolina was a real body blow to the union. And of course, the costs in that Seattle area have really risen. I mean, you know, in the old days, you know, you could be a working class family and you could live comfortably in that Seattle area. But now with, you know, the tech boom and so forth, um, it's really difficult to make a living there. It's very high cost and everything like that. So I think the union is just, it's just really a cost of living thing and also about, you know, the future of the union in terms of pensions. And also in terms of another big uh, hang sticking point for the union is they want a guarantee that the next aircraft will be developed in, Se in Seattle. But of course, Boeing may be reluctant to do that because it'll want freedom around contracts and that sort of thing. So, you know, a lot of big sticking points for the union.